Hey, good morning. You've reached Daddy Corn Star today. We're getting ready to fill the planter up, me and Cole the Corn Star. I'm sure a few of you watching these videos think that I run coal pretty hard and everything. Dang right. It's kind of why we have kids. It ain't because we love them or care for them or anything like that. It's so we can work them. Make them get our ice cream. Make them get our food. And uh, yes. It's kind of cool tonight. I was just letting the auto steer drop and I turned on. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it or not. It's a pretty neat little YouTube station. The young boy is called Cole the Corn Star. He's some 21 year old farmer. I don't really think he knows very much, but uh, it's entertaining watching him. So I was watching that while I was out here in the field and it kind of gives me something to chuckle about. So good looking young man I gotta say that kind of nice I see his dad showed him how to keep things looking neat so and his dad's a pretty good guy too what I see of the video so anyhow you gotta check it out Cole the Corn Star I feel a little bit silly I completely forgot to record an intro and an outro in this week's video so here it is you're watching Cole the Corn Star if you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 21 year old farmer get some stuff done you're in the right place if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions write a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe Okay, I'll stop talking. We'll get into the video. Oh, yes, I forgot about two things. First being, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It's at Cole the Corn Star. Second thing being, I have a P.O. box now. So if you want to send me some fan mail or want to send me something cool, send it to this address. I'd say it, but I don't have it memorized yet. But it's right here. Okay, let's get into the video now. Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever you want to say today. We got another cold, damp morning, so we're kind of getting things ready. We might try to go out and do a little bit of spraying today, but we got a little bit of bean ground. We're trying to get our 32% nitrogen on in weed killer, and they're talking more rain coming. So right now, we're still waiting for Cole the Corn Star to get home. In the meantime, me and uh, Cooper the Corn Star, we're going to grease up the sprayer, check the oils, and get things ready for today. The old grease gun comes in handy. Something a guy should probably use more than once a year. Somewhere out here... We have Cooper, the corn star, checking the sprayer over already. Oh boy, it's a nice day outside. By the way, if anyone's looking to buy a truck, we have this power amp. It's a one ton, I think it's like a 1986. It's got a winch on the front. Fire station used to own it, no rust on the thing. The odometer stopped at like 40,000 miles, but it really can't have a whole lot. Anyway, we're selling it. We want five grand for it. That's firm. So if you're interested, let me know. Suppose I could let you guys see the inside. Pretty clean. The springs are out on that side of the seat, so you do sink down pretty good. Other than that, be a cool old truck for someone. All right, let's see what dad is doing. It appears that Dad's putting in the cabin filter in the John Deere 4840. This is the planter tractor. He's wanting to get that working well so that his air conditioning is nice and cool. Cooper's out running the sprayer right now. It is just a little bit too sticky to run the planter. The sun's out. If the light would focus, you could tell. So we're gonna do just a couple things on the planter here quick, and then we'll go out and check the dirt and see if it's ready to go. So on the planter here, we have these row cleaners. And in one of our fields, a neighbor puts manure on, and so there's bale wrap in the manure that he scoops up 
from what's left over when he moves bales. And anyway, they get wrapped in here and it kind of makes a mess. So we just got done with that field the other day. So we're gonna go through all these row cleaners and make sure there's no bale wrap stuck in those because if there is, it can make bearings wear out prematurely. Here's that stuff I was talking about. It gets wrapped up in there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not because I can't see you, but it's in there. Okay, I'm gonna look at some soil here real quick to see how wet it is underneath. This is the next field we'd like to come to. This field has three quarter long mile rows, so we'd get a good chunk done here today. So, I'm gonna look at this quick. Hey Brian, I'll give you $10 if you lick this. We're gonna do is squeeze it. If it stays together, it's too wet. Yeah, definitely too wet. Too wet to plant anyway. It needs to dry just a little more. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover you back up so that way you stay in the dirt. We want you to stick around. Earthworms are good, guys. Hey, son, stay out, would ya? I guess Ronnie, our trucker, called and he's gonna come get a load of corn, so I'm gonna go fill him here. Dad's gonna bring the plant over to the main farm. We're gonna fill up the tractor with diesel, and then we gotta empty out the boxes because we have corn on corn, corn in the boxes, and we need corn on bean ground in the boxes. Someone must have cleaned out this shed, and they did it by just throwing everything in this one. Ooh, surprise, surprise, big change of plans. I guess the trucker filled himself. Cooper ran out of gas on the transfer pump on the sprayer tank, so I'm gonna bring him some gasoline, and he had a fuse blow, and he needed a wire made for the pump on the chemical container. So I'm bringing him all that stuff, and then I'm gonna go get lunch. And I guess Dalton is making his way over here, our main goal today is to keep the sprayer moving, get as much spraying done as possible, and then Dad is going to try to plant if the soil is fitting. I think it's just a little too wet to reel disc. It doesn't take a lot of moisture to plug up the reel disc, and you don't want to plug up the reel disc because it takes a really long time to get it unplugged. There's Cooper. I guess dad was just right behind me. This is the field we're wanting to plant into, so we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna see if this field's a little drier. Better though, you know, time to get the planter emptied and filled. Dad's gonna bring the planter over to the main farm. They're gonna clean out those boxes, put corn on bean ground corn in the planter. And then I'm going to run in and go get some lunch for everybody. And then we're going to start planting some corn. Well, we got some scooping to do. They're all about half full. Dalton's excited about it. I left Dad and Dalton with two boxes left to do. And then they'll put the new corn in there and then they'll get to planting. Cooper's probably getting pretty low on 32% here in a little while and then Dalton will fill up the tanks for the semi-trailer and then he'll keep that supplied to Cooper 
and I'm going to go cover cremation quick, and then I have a full-size grave after that I need to cover. Then I'll be able to get lunch. By that time, it'll be probably four o'clock. We got Dalton Cornstar here trying to unload a... Doing good. He's like a pro. Grave's done. We got the goods. I'm gonna pull the seed tender in the big machine shed quick so that way I can hook up to the skid loader trailer. Fairly bumpy back here. This will be cleaned up this summer. Big bump. Oh. Well, I think our ridge cap has a leak in it somewhere. So we're gonna have to get up and replace that this summer. You wanna know how I know? Big old puddle of water in here. good all right here's the real question can I fit through there it's gonna be tight we're free there's Cooper getting into the freight liner he's gonna bring 32% back to himself Dalton hooked this up in like three seconds I don't know how he did it Guess Dalton's gonna come help me cover the grave. I'm gonna stop by, visit Grandpa real quick, touch up his grave, and then we're gonna touch up a few graves here as well that have sunken in over the winter time. And then Dalton's gonna go run the sprayer later once we get done with this. Dad and I dug a grave just about where Dalton's at during the winter time and it settled in pretty bad and it was pretty muddy when we did it so we put the dirt down here and now I want to get rid of it down here and bring it up to the main dirt pile which is all the way in that corner over there. Cooper's still spraying on 32. Dalton's going to take the truck. I'm going to take the semi home. We're going to fill these tanks with 32% again. Cooper ran them all the way out today already. He's getting a lot done. My favorite part about driving the semi? Hey there guys, ladies, gentlemen. We got Daddy Cornstar talking to you. I'm out planting today. I don't know if you can see the planter behind me, but we're planting corn. They're talking rain for a good chunk of the week. It's kind of one of them tough calls. We had to run around to find a field to go in. I wouldn't say it's great, but uh, seems like it's going pretty good. So, come along for the journey. Right now, we're letting auto steer run. As you can see, the field has got a little dust, but like I said, it's a little bit damp, but everything's going pretty good. Dad said he is under a quarter tank of fuel he forgot to fill when he was here, so I'm going to load up this diesel tank into the truck, fill it with diesel, bring it over to him. Been running the auto steer. We put the unit on our steering wheel on our 4840 John Deere tractor. Seems like it's been running very, very good for me. I've been happy with it. It takes a lot of stress off my eyes trying to find the old marker. Right now we're no-tilling in beam stubble, running trash whippers. The 
truck sitting there looking at that duel on the tractor, it almost hypnotizes you. Dad's over here somewhere. We'll just drive through the grass till we find him. pick these up when you find them. I'm gonna run over to the main farm quick, grab those 16 bags of champion seed. There's eight of one number, eight of the other number. When dad runs out of seed, we're gonna put those bags in. And by the time we get all that done tonight, We'll probably call it a day. All right, we got the champion seed loaded on the left side here with the label facing up. I have the 61A19, and with the label facing down, I have the 58A18 number. So we're just gonna wait till Dad gets the planter empty, and then we'll load the planter up with this stuff. I had to turn the lights on on the 4880 as well as the machine shed lights so you guys could kind of see me. We'll turn these off quick. I'm getting hungry. It's getting later in the evening. My tummy is gone. Feed me! Feed me! Here's dad's last pass on this side. Ooh, he is brushing that telephone pole right now. Squeaked right by it though. I think we got enough to make another round. We have just enough seed in the planter yet that it would overfill our five gallon bucket. So what we're gonna do is make another pass down this. So now there is going to be 48 plus 16 rows, possibly plus another 16, we'll find out. I don't know why I struggled with this math so much, but uh, 48 plus 16 should be 64. And yes, in case you're wondering, I am blind now after filming that little 10 second clip because of this camera flash being right in my face. I guess this will work okay because now dad can set his AB line on the planter so that these champion seed rows will be nice and straight and the edge one won't be a little wobbly. I just counted it off. We have 48 rows right now. If he turns around and comes back, then we're gonna have 64. But we'll see what he does. I'm betting he comes back. So that means on the end rows, we have 32 rows. And on the side by the road, we have 64. We're gonna load this seed in the planter now. Time to get our workout on. Okay, we're gonna do 61A19 on the left side of the planter. And then we're gonna do 58A18 on the right side of the planter. We're gonna take off all the box lids first, and then we'll start divvying out the seed, and then we'll dump a bag in each box. Okay, we got all the 61A19s on the ground laying in front of their respective row that they're gonna go into. This is half of the planter right here. Now we're gonna lay out the other bag in front of this. Right now dad's clearing out just a little bit of corn that's left in there. That way we're not misrepresenting what this yields. We wanna flip these over. That way we don't get confused what's what. <laughs> Back again. We're at our last one now. Okay, everything's all laid out now. I'm gonna start filling the boxes. This is how clean we're getting them. There's just a really little amount of seed left in there. Okay, everything's full. One of them's green with purple specks. The other one's purple with purple specs. Let's get to planting. GPS is on and lined up. 
Dad's gonna get us up to speed as soon as we cross into where we haven't planted yet. Right now the row shutoffs are kicking in so it's not planting even though it's in the ground. And now we're planting. We're pulling in fifth gear right now. It's nice and smooth. Monitors aren't going off. We're planting at four and a half miles an hour right now. And we're hoping to get 110 acres done today. That's pretty good for not getting started till late in the afternoon. With this planter, we can do approximately 20 acres an hour in a good field. This monitor right here tells which rows are planting corn. So if one of those little black boxes turns white, that means corn's not coming out of a specific row. Then we go back there and try to figure out what the problem is. We're getting this in the ground on May 4th. It's currently 10.30 p.m. The weather outside is 62 degrees. We've had sun all day at about 70 degrees. It's just been a beautiful day. Soil moisture is pretty much optimal right now. Hey look, I found treasure. That was not supposed to happen. This is what it's supposed to look like. That's what it looks like. We're just gonna set it up here for now. Cooper's gonna bring us a bolt for this. We might have a bolt, we're gonna look. Oh, let's see if this fits in here. It looks like it does. It's all full of crud in there now though. Getting down there on seed, our buzzer just went off, so one of them ran out. Number 10, I think it's down here. It's 12.30 in the morning, we're out of seed. We're gonna bring the planter tractor home, and then we're gonna go to bed. This is for my record keeping. The left side of the planter, AKA the driver's side of the planter, was on the north end of the field when we started. I promise my eyes aren't that goofy. I'm just trying not to look directly into my flashlight. Hey, I want you guys to comment down below guessing which seed do you think is going to yield better and what do you think it's going to yield? I just took my boots off. And this happened on both feet. That's uncomfortable. Cooper is checking some filters here that he thought might have been plugged because he's having problems with pressure to his boom. So he's getting those cleaned out quick. Hey, you know. Ooh. Yeah, I You're like a gymnast. You're like a gymnast. Well, that's an interesting place for that. I'm gonna walk down into these corn stalks and dig up some dirt, see how the soil feels. If it's dry enough, I'm gonna reel disc once we get the planter going. All right, Anna, where should I, where should I dig at? Right there? Okay. It's low. We're up on a hill up there. I think we'll be okay. I'm not gonna be able to get to run for probably another hour and a half yet anyway. The real disc has gangs on the front that run straight, and then in the middle there's this chopping basket, then there's a drag, and then there's rollers. This would be considered VT, I think, aka vertical tillage. We really like it. This particular one is 36 feet, I think. some okay here we go perfect we'll let her warm up here for a minute and then we'll take off down the road I should probably put diesel in it good idea 
pop. I'm having a hard time reading that. Dad just called and said he couldn't get the planter to unfold, so I got halfway there and then he called and said he got it to unfold, so I turned around, came back, just got in the tractor again, and then Cooper said the sprayer tanks are almost empty on the semi, so I'm gonna go over, get that, bring it back to the main tank, fill it up, and then bring that back to him. We wanna keep him moving. So, I might get real disc in sometime today, we'll see. There's Cooper spraying up on the hill. I guess Cooper has to leave at noon, so I'm gonna spray now, and Dalton's gonna come out and run the real disc. You see that switch right here? Have you ever had one of them days, the planner says it ain't working, and you get out, you check everything, and you spend about 15 minutes wondering why it ain't working, there's no seeds in the ground. Then you get back in, this one little switch, I forgot to turn on. Oh, I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm thinking it's time for a Mountain Dew. Dalton and I brought the seed tender out to Tabletop, where Dad is gonna be planting once he gets done at the field he's on now. That way he has new seed. I'm going to bring the sprayer tanks home. I'm gonna start spraying. Dalton's gonna start real disking. We might get something done today. Who parked the sprayer way over there? It's windy. Normally with it being this windy, I wouldn't be out here. If I was spraying on weed killer, I wouldn't be out here, but we're putting on a really heavy rate with this 32%. We're good. We are out of product, so we're headed back to the sprayer trailer. What? Hey, girl. Well, plans changed again. Dad just called and said he ran out of corn on bean ground seed, and we have a few bags left over, so he needs those, and I conveniently took both of his trucks, so I need to bring him over a truck quick. While I'm there, I might as well help him fill the planter again. I'll be back in a jiffy sprayer. Hey, stay over there. When you're out planting and the ground's already a little wet and you look off to the north and you see a big old black cloud coming, you kind of think, please God, Make it miss. Okay, we're back now. What is this? What is this? You know what? You sure you want to quit? Yes, I'm done. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, turn off. Wow, that was a long five seconds. Boop. All that I wanted to do today was spray some 32%. And then it does this stuff. Are you kidding me right now? You know, at least the sprayer is getting a bath right now. I kind of overfilled the tank a little bit earlier, so I made a mess of the sprayer. So free bath. It's all right. I think I'm just going to sit here till the rain stops. But if I did get out, then I wouldn't have to shower today. Hmm. Man, there's so many tough decisions around here. Dad just said he got rained out. I hear the lightning and thunder grumbling all around me, so I think I'm gonna risk it real quick. Hop down, take that hose off, and then I can drive the sprayer up there. I'd probably be fine right here, but I don't really wanna back up later and put a big old rut in the field, so we're just gonna do it right now. All right, guys, wish me luck. I was literally out there for like 12 seconds, and then it starts hailing as soon as I shut the door. Wow, it's wet out there. Look at that. My back was to the, I don't know if you can see that or not. But man, it's moist out there. Good thing I didn't try to go back out to the field. Do you know what I just realized? I haven't eaten breakfast today. I also have not eaten lunch today. It's 4.30 p.m. Not getting as clean as I thought it would, but 
If it stops raining later, I'll wash it. You know what? I'm already super wet. I'm just gonna power wash the sprayer. You guys, you're gonna watch. You're gonna watch from right here. Perfect. I just come up the driveway, we're getting rain, and I thought I seen like a uh, old jolly old giant, the green bean man, but I think it's Cole the Corn Star. He's got a garbage bag on, and he's washing the sprayer. You gotta admit, he's a pretty good kid. I don't know, I'm still trying to figure out this plastic bag. You know, he needs to get some uh, shirts, sweatshirts, t-shirts, whatever made up with Cole, the Corn Star's name. I wonder if he could be sponsored by some raincoat company. And they could put Cole, the Corn Star on there. He's a power washing away. He's even a monkey. Look at him climb. Oh, I'm kind of staying in the tractor here so he doesn't put me to work. Let's see. Hey, Cole, don't fall. I was always told when it's wet, you shouldn't get on top of things. I never taught that stuff to my kids. Some things you pass on to the kids and other things you don't. Well, we got rained out, so sounds like maybe a week of rain again. This is getting kind of old. I know a lot of you guys, though, are fighting the flood all kinds of different stuff so right now we're just kind of wet and rainy my hat's off to you guys fighting the floods and stuff because that stuff is absolutely miserable rain we can deal with i mean it sucks but uh you know at least we're not watching our stuff float away and stuff so that kind of makes any of us guys sick and watch farm ground sit there with water floating over it and stuff so I wish there was stuff we could do to help you guys out too and uh, hang in there. We plug along and always hope for things to get better. I got the sprayer blasted with water, then we went over to where the dually was sitting with the seed tender on it. We brought that into the big machine shed. We pulled the planter in, swept the floor under it first, and then I came back and I soaped the sprayer and then I washed it and I'm letting it drip off and I'll pull it in here I haven't eaten yet. It's seven o'clock. I'm probably gonna go in and shower here once I pull the sprayer in so I can eat. People are always searching for what they're meant to do in life. In my opinion, if you can go 24 hours without eating because you're so focused on what you're doing, that's what you should do. Don't make fun of the garbage bag poncho. It kept me dry. Wow, it is so much cleaner now. See how clean that is, Dad? Take note. This appears to be missing something. Much better. Just kidding. Eating seven brats last night was not the best thing I've ever done for my insides. Alright guys, this is the worst part of the video. The end. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, write a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe.